Welcome everyone. Today, we are excited to introduce the latest version of the My20 Assistant app for iOS devices. We've listened to your feedback and worked hard to bring you an even more powerful and user-friendly experience. In this training video, we'll explore the new workflow features that will make your daily tasks easier and more efficient. Let's dive right in. First up, upon logging into the My20 Assistant app on your iPhone or iOS device, you'll notice the screen is divided into three sections. Shortcuts at the top, workflow in the middle, and the widgets on the bottom. Let's start at the top with shortcuts. Here, you'll see shortcuts to the most commonly used features within the My20 app. This bar is driver and carrier customizable. You can choose from a variety of shortcuts to be featured here along the top bar of your app screen. To add or remove a shortcut, scroll the top bar to the left and tap the plus sign. Here, you can tap your active shortcuts to deactivate them from the shortcut bar, or tap the inactive shortcut to add it to the shortcut bar. You can drag and drop these shortcuts to organize the bar based upon your personal priority preference. Let's take a look at an example. I have status as my first shortcut. If I tap status, I will be able to change my duty status or activate an exception. The second shortcut on my shortcut bar is UDR, unidentified driving records. If I tap UDR, I will be able to see and manage all my UDRs. Currently, I have no pending UDRs. Next, and the most exciting enhancement of the My20 Assistant release is the workflow section located in the middle of the app screen. We have created a brand new driver workflow experience to help start your day with ease. Here, the My20 Assistant will walk you through the necessary steps to starting your workday. Upon logging in to the My20 ELD app, the workflow will prompt you with a set of questions to connect to your vehicle and start your duty day. Once connected to your vehicle and trailer, the workflow will walk you through the driver pre-trip DVIR. We have improved the DVIR process as it streamlines your pre-trip and post-trip inspections, ensuring you capture all the necessary information effortlessly. From electronic signatures to photo attachments, our app guides you through the inspection process step-by-step, -step, making it faster and more thorough than ever before. The previously reported defect for your asset, your truck or your trailer, will remain on the asset's DVIR until reported as resolved. One enhanced feature of this My20 Assistant is that it will automatically annotate the DVIR completion on the driver's daily rods. Once the DVIR is complete, the driver will verify and validate all the driver and vehicle information is correct prior to starting his or her trip. Here you'll see your truck and trailer number, VIN, starting odometer, start time, and pre-DVIR results. If something is incorrect, such as the odometer reading, you can validate the trip details prior to moving the vehicle. Once you've completed the pre-trip prep, the workflow will confirm that you are ready to drive. Throughout your drive, the My20 Assistant will give you options based upon your hours of service duty day. Drivers have the option to take a break, end your hours of service day, stop for inspection, and more. If you are stopping for inspection, you will tap, I've been stopped. The workflow will walk you through the FMCSA upload process directly from your My20 app and after entering the FMCSA case number, it will auto transmit the current duty cycle. If you receive an error message, you can contact My20 support by phone or email directly from the app. You can also view your rods from this screen. When you choose take a break from the assistant workflow, the workflow will prompt you to choose what type of break, a rest break, food break, sleeper, or split sleeper. For example, let's choose rest break. Your hours of service will automatically switch to off duty and display the elapsed time in off duty status. Let's take a look at the new time clock widget. 
On the bottom third of your My 20 Assistant screen, you'll see a snapshot of your HOS time clocks. This is called the Time Clocks widget. To open the Time Clock widget, tap the Time Clock widget up. Here you will see the expanded Time Clock screen for an instant overview of your essential HOS information. Displaying the distance traveled, today's date and time, your ELD status if you're connected or disconnected, your current duty status, your weekly HOS cycle, 14 hour HOS clocks, and 11 hour driving clock. With a quick glance, you'll know exactly where you stand. In regards to hours of service, we have enhanced the display and updated the functionality for managing exceptions. Now the access to exceptions are configurable at a carrier level. The admin of the carrier can manage the available and active exceptions applicable for the driver. When I tap exceptions, I am presented with all the available exceptions my carrier will allow. To activate an exception, tap activate. This will activate the exception with a visual timestamp of when the exception was activated. For example, I tapped personal conveyance. Now my time clock says I am in off-duty PC. To deactivate the exception, simply tap deactivate. You can also find the exception screen on your shortcut bar. Let's go back to the My20 workflow for a few minutes to talk about how to certify a driver's rods. When your HOS day is complete, the driver will tap End HOS Day. This will prompt the post-trip DVIR. Once the DVIR is complete, the driver will be asked to validate the end of trip information. Once validated, the workflow will prompt the driver to certify the logs. We are excited to release this new feature for log certification. Drivers now have the ability to decertify the logs from within the app if need be. If a driver makes a mistake and needs to annotate the rods, he or she can decertify the rods, make the annotation, and recertify directly from the My20 app. Annotations are automatically notated onto the RODS PDF. There you have it. These are a few of the exciting new workflow features available in the latest version of the My20 Assistant. We're confident that these enhancements will save you time, simplify your tasks, and keep you compliant with ease. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you make the most of these new features. For additional support or training, please contact our team at 865-888-MY20 or support at connectseal.com. Drive safe and drive life.